Good morning. It is Sunday. I am sitting in a park right now. I had to get outside. I absolutely had to come outside. Um, it's chilly, but I love this weather. I feel like I can breathe out here. Um, this is where I seek the Lord. Um, I, I actually, I'm used to walking. I like to walk and just kind of um, move with the Holy Spirit, but um, I, I need to figure out how I can do that. But um, this message is for the Church of France. Now, I want to say over the last several months, as the Lord has been showing me the Church of France, it's actually like like two churches. He has shown me the Catholic Church, but also another church. And I don't know uh, what that other church is. Um, the Holy Spirit has shown me my uh, paternal grandmother. She was Welsh and English. So I know it's, it's land, whether in hearts or actual land, having to do with the Welsh and the English. So there, are, there is an overall Church of France, but they are separate. But um, this word uh, is for the Church of France. And I am telling you, um, oh, you have been on the Lord's heart uh, for almost a year now. The Lord has just... Uh, place this burden on me to pray over you. Um, you are just on his heart, in his in his sights. He has seen you. He has heard your cries, and I've been I've been trying to um, put pen to paper. I've been trying to write this word and um, glean everything I can from the from what the Lord has shown me, but. Um, the Holy Spirit is teaching me, Dina, I'm not going to give you all the answers all the time. We know in part, we prophesy in part. So that's actually, the Lord is, is dealing with me on that. But um, I just want to let you know, you, Church of France, are on the heart of the Lord and you have been. And he is breathing on you right now. And I am, I am so excited to see what he is going to do uh, over you. So the reason why I'm coming on here right now is because uh, it's, it was such an interesting morning. So while um, I was getting ready uh, for church this morning, um, I kept hearing uh, the French um, national anthem. And, you know, I haven't spoken French in over 30 years. I um, also used to play the flute um, and one of the songs that we would play, I was like 13 years old. <laughs> that was a very long time ago. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was like 13 years old, but, um, we used to play the French national anthem and I kept hearing, um, the beginning verses of that in my, in my mind this morning. Um, alone's enfant de la patria. Le jeu de gloire est arrivé. I'm getting very bashful. Um, but I kept hearing it over and over again. And so I'm getting ready for church and I got dressed and um, I, there's a dog. <laughs> um, I uh, went to put on my perfume I just do a little spritz on Sundays. Um, my perfume, I didn't realize, was also French. I never really thought about that. Um, and I was joking with the Holy Spirit. I'm like, man, Holy Spirit, I am, I, I am seeing and feeling this burden from you for France. But it was pretty funny. Um, and then uh, my son and I headed to church and um, they changed the times of the service. I didn't even know, like, when did they change the times of the service? So we didn't realize we had like an hour um, before the service. And I'm talking to my son and I'm like, oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Um, we can sit here and go or, you know, what should we do? Maybe we can run an errand or... Um, so he said, well, 
mommy, maybe we can just read the Bible, you know, together when we go back home and uh, maybe we can go get that extension cord. We need an extension cord for his fish, uh, his fish tank. Anyway, this is wild. So we go to Lowe's, um, we go to Lowe's, the um, building supply store to get this extension cord. And of course, uh, my son's like, mommy, mommy, uh, let's go look at the Christmas trees. And so um, we were like staring at this Christmas tree and my son's like, oh, isn't it pretty? And um, a man came up to the side of me and he's like looking at the tree too. He's like, um, That's, that seems very expensive. And I looked at him and laughed. Um, and I was like, yes, you know, that seems to be the norm uh, these days. And he starts talking to me. And I mean, he had this very thick French accent. I started laughing. Can you imagine walking up and meeting somebody and they just start laughing? But the absolute joy of the Lord hit me. And um, this beautiful, beautiful man, French man. Now, I have lived in Boise, Idaho for eight years now, and there are refugees here. And so occasionally I'll go places and I'll hear you know, I'll hear them speaking. They're, they're, um, most of them are from Africa. I'll hear them speaking and I'll catch glimpses, glimpses of what they're saying, um, you know. Um, but I haven't met like a, like a Frenchman from France, not one time in eight years. And here we are, hallelujah. This beautiful man walks up, he starts talking to us. He got down on his knee and took my hand and kissed it. He called me a princess. Oh my goodness. It was, it was really funny. Um, but I told him why I started laughing. Um, I said, you know, the Lord has placed, um, do you believe in the Lord? And he said, oh yes, I believe in the Lord. I said, okay, well, you know what? He has um, had me praying over your country for almost a year now. And here you are, um, you know, standing before me, you know, God bless you. And he's like, wow. And um, he introduces himself, his name is Daniel. I started laughing again, hallelujah. Everybody knows the prophet Daniel in the Old Testament. Um, so to me, this, this was like a divine appointment um, with this beautiful man. We talked a little bit. As I was talking um, to him, um, we were just laughing and just really enjoying each other's, you know, company and fellowship. He was, t he started telling me about his life and his son and, and, um, um, some other personal things. And a couple walks by with a little girl in their arms and the couple just, you know, they, they were, you know, going about their business, but this little girl is like looking past the shoulder of her dad. He's got her in his arms and she's staring at Daniel and I, and she's pointing and saying, why are they laughing? Why are they laughing? She was fascinated. And I, again, full of the joy of the Lord, I looked at Daniel and I'm like out of the mouth of babes, you know, and so I recorded, um, I recorded uh, him on video um, speaking a, a Bible verse uh, about children and the Lord, Daniel. Um, but it was just the coolest experience. So anyway, um, I, I am sitting here um, to say, I, I want to share this other word from the Lord. Um, but this... Um, this national anthem of France, I'm, I have a really <laughs> um, awful uh, French accent. I don't even want to butcher these beautiful words. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the. I believe it's the first and sixth um, verses of this national anthem um, in English. Um, let Let's see. Let us go, children of the fatherland. Our day of glory has arrived against us. The bloody flag of tyranny 
is raised. The bloody flag is raised. Do you hear in the countryside the roar of those savage soldiers? They come right into our arms to cut the throats of our sons, our comrades to arms, citizens. Form your battalions. I'm reading this too fast. I apologize. Let us march. Let us march that their impure blood. Oh, I, for some reason, this next verse is, I can't, I can't read it. Guide, but the next one, guide and support our vengeful arms. Liberty, beloved liberty, fight with your defenders, fight with your defenders under our flags so that victory will rush to your manly strains that your dying enemies should see your triumph and glory to arms citizens hallelujah so church i am here to remind you you are citizens of heaven hallelujah you are partakers of a heavenly calling we are sitting at the right hand of the Father with Jesus, and we have been given his authority in this earth, and we are meant to use that authorities. This speaks to me, and, it, and he has been speaking to me, wake up children of France, my sons and daughters, wake up to the voice and call of your heavenly father and partake in these these heavenly callings those things which i have called you to in this earth so wake up and follow me this is about obedience and remember we are in the army of god hallelujah it is an army this is a war this truly is a war um of of people talk about the proverbial you know light and darkness we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light and um you know the lord also part of this other word um that i have um been um working on um and the lord shared with me for you is I will raise up a standard unlike you've ever seen before. I will raise up a standard unlike you've ever seen before. The Lord is your standard. The Lord is your banner. Jehovah Nissi, he is your banner. I see it across France right now. Jehovah Nissi, he is your standard. He is raising up a standard against the hand of the enemy. This flood that has come against you, if you will, will just submit and surrender to the Lord, seek him, humble yourselves and seek him. He is he is coming and he wants to heal you the the land in your heart in the land of your nation in the name of jesus and you are covered you are covered by his blood the blood of jesus speaks for you it spoke for you it speaks for you and it will continue to speak for you the lord is your standard and your banner in the name of Jesus. So wake up, France. He is coming. I just, I feel it in, in, in every part of my being. Again, the Holy Spirit has just, has, has placed this burden on me. Every day I wake up and, and I keep hearing France, France, France. Um, so this again, when I heard that playing in my head, Alain's enfant de la patria, um, uh, um, I, I just started laughing, hallelujah, because um, it, it, he, uh, he wants to move in you and through you. He wants that so much. So um, I just say, uh, Holy Spirit, have your way have your way in your beautiful church he calls you my beloved church hallelujah you are his 
beloved church, have your way awake in these hearts so that they can hear your voice, Lord, so that they can prepare for you to come. You are being prepared right now. Um, this preparation, uh, you are already a holy people. You have already been sanctified and set apart from the Lord. That's part of the preparation. But right now you just need to surrender to him. And um, with the other word I kept hearing, come, O oh, four winds. Come, O oh, four winds. And, and I see it and hear it and feel it coming from all parts of the earth through France. But again, there's another church here. There's part of the British and the wealth. There's another church here. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's just France or if it's um, the French somewhere else. But... Um, Come, O oh, four winds, and breathe on these that have been slain. Um, where I opened up to Ezekiel 37 um, before I came on here. Sorry, I get a little nervous when I come on here, and it's like my mind just goes blank. So um, that's why I have to set things in front of me. <laughs> um, um, yeah, where is it? O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. Hallelujah. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Um prophesy to the breath prophesy son of man and say to the breath thus says the lord god come from the four winds O breath jesus jesus and breathe on these slain that they may live i command you i command you to live in the name of jesus wake up get up and live in the name of Jesus, Church of France. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share that you are so loved and the Lord is, is breathing on you. I just see his, his shadow over you. He's breathing on you. And he is just, he is going to move he is going to move. He is in your midst right now, but he is going to move and you will see it if you will surrender and obey the voice of the Lord. God bless you all in the name of Jesus.